he was to remove Fisip. Vant Hosauka, President, Vant Hosauka, Achoseko, Ijafataleza, Mnivatenga. It shows that he doesn't care. President, Muvipatala, Muribe Mangwala. Muribe Mangwala, Mvipatala. But President, Azunguruka. Panopamene Nikamba, Munumu Studio. But President, Ichilema is in China. He has been in China for five days. And Zambians must make a contrast, and this is extremely important. First of all, we know that the Congolese president is in China and has been given the decorum and the honor. He has been given all the, 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 the honor and decorum that comes with a state visit. And he, and he has been given the guard of honor. We know that the president of Venezuela, President Maduro, is in uh, China. And President Maduro has been given the honor and decorum and the presidential guard. And our president, President Hakainde Samichilema, has also been in China for the last five days. The only thing we see the president doing is going around doing window shopping. For five days, President Hakainde has been in China. The only thing he has been doing is window shopping. When you're checking my phone, oh, your iPhone is not choking. Oh, you're not Oh, it is so. The iPhone 15, you're not choking. When you're shopping, when you're checking, you can't have five days of a president doing window shopping. No. And the, clearly, you can see that the Chinese government has neglected President Ichilema. He's trying so much to be seen. He's trying so much to push himself on the Chinese government. They have not given him the honor, the decorum. They have not even given him the attention that a president who is visiting must, must, must be given. Clearly, the president is in China for window shopping, is in China for tourism purposes, is in China just to go around and enjoy himself. But we've been told so, that uh, Wallace is there. He's uh, signed a number of, uh, you know, memorandum of no, understandings, yeah. various uh, MOUs there, that will see, you know, some benefits have been brought back home here. Let, let me be very fair to mm. President Hakainde Samishle. Our president, we have a connection. We have a president. We have a vote, we have a connection, we have a zanga, we have a vote, we have a zanga, we have a 25 billion US dollars, foreign direct investment. A president yawa, a president watu haka inde samich lewa. Wankala na matrip yali 51 now. Kuenda maziko ena angu, maiko ena angu. 51 trips. Ma yuji ni kulibe president mziko la pass. Anankala po na 51 trips in 24 months. Uyu president dewa number one. Kukala na 51 trips in 24 months. And yaja matrip yawa ichi lewa. I challenge him today. Basa mi tilangi zen investment ya mne mwareta mzambia. Chilangi zeni. Agrikacha mwapaya mpasa wantu mameda. Agrikacha mwapaya panupametika ambani pa September 14 ilero. Kulibe fataleza. September 14 kulibe fataleza. Fataleza za buwela liti. Sidi za buwela liti. Makemiko za za buwela liti. Pano nipa 14 September. A president muvipata na mulibe mangwala. You have had 51 trips. Wai mkango gula panado. Wai mkango gula tonje. Wai mkango gula jiki. Muvipata na. You have had 51 trips, a president. Tuuze ni wae muka ingi wa kushita sponsor baana waende ku University of Zambia, waende ku Copa Belt University, waende ku Chalimbana University, waende ku Mungushu University, waende ku Nkuruma University, waende ku Palavana University. This government is failing. A president mwachita 51 trips. Wae muka ingi wa kulipila wakanso. Wakanso, lero pameti kamba. Kanso weka za wakoni for four months kulipe salari. Nichancha nchiti kamziko. A president wantua vutika. Mulinjala makomboni. Naenda kukoti mazo. Na peza report if they have stuck it pa koti. Kuloko koti. Na kuhai koti. Vikwati 31,000 vasila mzambia. Just from June kuboro fika lero. 31,000 vikwati vasila. Nijani. Mulinjala manumba. Right. Azmai alema kukala na azbambo. Every day azbambo wakangiwa. Kulipira mandrama za wana baskuru. Kupereka wana kuchipatala. Kulipira mandrama ya chakudia. Kulipira ndrama ya renti. Tien tiganizeko kuli medi. Tiganizeko pali gadi. Afola zingati. Medi afola one pin. Gadi afola one five. One shop light afola two pin. Mwamene umu achosemo transport. Mwamene umu achosemo ya kudia. Mwamene umu achosemo renti. Asala ndrama zingati. Lomba mwona minister kai waka hindi. Ngati minister wanu sanka la mnyumba ya boma. Mwamene alidi garin kombo. Anka la mnyumba ya kekuja sanka la mnyumba ya boma. Do you know how much money is getting? 20,000 kwacha pe month as a housing allowance. 20,000 kwacha, minister. Iyo ni ya nyumba chape. Akala mnyumba yake wampasa 20 pin. Theli mufakepo, hainda kuparlamenti kaya kachita here, 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 wampasa 1,500 kwacha. 
every city akakala ma committee ngatanda ma parliamentary committee ya tatu it means akankala per day alina 45 plus ijayonkali na parliament alina 6 pin so some of these ministers bakomboka na ma 6000 kwacha per day mukatenga ma 6000 kwacha from monday to thursday banyonga ku parliament muikepo 20000 kwacha mini boma impasa ya nyumba muikepo 36000 kwacha salary muikepo months ba mulipirira malaiti ba mulipirira magadi ba mulipirira mamoto ka ba mulipirira minister mwa kainde pe month atoka na 108000 kwacha mm. na enda na kunyumba but imwe na ine tifula mwa 15 imwe na ine tifula mwa 15 Let's look at the plight of the civil servants. We need to be honest with our people. Ma civil servants ba fola zingati. Ma civil servants ba na mankongole kuli all my microphone. Most of the civil servants are walking away with less than 40% of their total salary every day. What is the cost of fertilizer? What is the cost of milk? What is the cost of medicine? What is the cost of transport? These are the issues the president who cares about the people should be concentrating on. Let's, let's He do, doesn't concentrate let, himself let, on the social and economic issues affecting the Zambian people. Uyo president chamena ziba eve ni kuzunguruka. Kasiri. Kama zunguruka zunguruka. Last yeah. week last week the president opened the third session of the 13th National Assembly. He talked about a number of issues, some of the challenges that uh, you know the country is facing and what is uh his administration is doing about it and uh, of course he made it clear that uh, he's alive to the fact that things are hard and uh, as the new don government which was voted by the people uh, that has the people's uh, you know uh, 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 um, people's uh, you know interest at heart they are doing everything possible to see that uh, an ordinary zambian does not uh, complain about the price of melamu and generally just the cost of living comrade it's simple when the president says I know you are suffering. It doesn't mean he cares. He just telling you that I know that you are suffering. He has to prove that he cares by telling the Zambian people what his government is doing to bring down the cost of minimum. And I'll tell you for a fact that minimum prices will continue to go up. They will continue to go up. In fact, from the associations that deal with agriculture they have already projected that by december will be buying a bag of minimum for 500 kwacha in certain districts and certain cities this president has removed the indirect subsidies on fuel the price of fuel will continue to go up the price of fertilizer will continue to go up the price of all farming inputs will continue to grow up to go up so how is he going to reduce the cost of minimum if you go to the millers today they will tell you a consortium of millers in lusaka will tell you they were spending a maximum of 20 million kwacha per month for their operations now they are spending over 35 million kwacha per month for the same operations because the price of transport the price of storage the cost of everything electricity has doubled by the way load shedding yayamba kaswa muzani ninza kuzani load shedding yayamba pano bantu kamba ma places mwambiri mulibe malaiti why aba bantu they don't care about you and me they are selling electricity bagulisa but makombo ni mulibe malaiti my industrial area pano bantu kamba pano mulibe malaiti but they don't care about it, how that affects you it doesn't matter because we vakudi vakudi ya muri sujiraiti vakudi ya muri god vakudi kuma kuma tax deals ya muri wapanga na mamains vakudi ya muma deal ya fertilizer vakudi ya madiru ya miseo vakudi ya madiru yo sia government they are chewing they can't feel the pain of an ordinary woman an ordinary mother because they are too comfortable look at what they did to kulima street vendors i've heard the people say ah why sivange na muma market how many places do we have in the market i've done an analysis a socialist party we have done an analysis we have found that actually we have less than 1300 stands across the whole lusaka province muma market 
And the analysis also shows that we have about 10,000 people on the streets who are selling different things. Others, wama enda chena mendo wazmai, choka kuchawama paka mtauni, mtauni paka mtendere, wagulisa chen suko, wagulisa tu kasava, wagulisa tu nshawa. If you put together all these people that are trading on the streets, the number exceeds 10,000 people. So, about 10,000 in Zapereka Kote, which market is going to hold them? The problem is street vending. Sivandu. The problem is street vending. Ni bomba. Bomba ya kangiwa. Kupweza mtengo ya vintu wakuti. Bomba ya kangiwa kupweza mtengo. Wa, wa cooking oil. Mtengo wa salad. Bomba ya kangiwa kupweza mtengo wa unga. Bomba ya kangiwa kupweza mtengo wa maiti. So people have to survive. Then number two which is critical. Ii bomba ya kangiwa kupanga nshito za mayuth. They have killed the small and medium enterprises. Mukaenda lilo kuma government, ni wanda ni wana ma contracts, mula waka indi. Ni wanda waka indi, ni wana ma contracts. You have seen what they are doing to fertilizer deals. Because there, there is 357 million dollars. That's what they want to share. 357 million US dollars deals mu fertilizer. What they have done is, first of all, they float matenda. Then they cancel those tenders in order to buy time. And that's what they have been doing. Once they buy time and there's a limited time period before the rain season, they use that as a justification for them to single source. As we are speaking right now, they have a list of farmers, uh, agro dealers, whom they have already made to give my contracts. Okay, they are single sourcing. So they have a list. They are single sourcing. So they have a list. So they do all these bidding processes deliberately just for face value to show that, no, they are transparent. Today is the 14th. They have not yet listed the people are supposed to be given fertilizer deals. Today is the 14th of September. Fertilizer has not been bought. Fertilizer has not been brought in the country. Fertilizer has not started being distributed. What time are they going to start distributing fertilizer? They want to justify by creating this man-made crisis, then they use the ZPPA Act to justify single sourcing. So we have a government which in a nutshell, and this is why I'm saying, when you hear President uh, Hakainde Sami Chilema telling you stories, just take them as stories. And uh, I, want to, I want to encourage Ma, Ma Antwam Zambia. And Ma President Abuelapa TV, Ma Chinja Chess Station, Ma Vinango. Because in my stories, I'm not going to He can't reduce the cost of minimum. He only bores you. He can't reduce the cost of fertilizer. He only bores you. He has no any economic plan. As a zina mavandu. He has no economic plan. Let's, let's get to this, comment. Let's tune him out. Tima uh, tamako vina. Tamako bored. Let's, let's, let's get to this particular point, comment. Um, uh, the president uh, has mentioned to say that um, it's, it's, it's funny and sometimes he feels uh, he's the only one who's uh, realized to say in the two years that he's been in power, he's been uh, asked to change things that were destroyed in 10 years. How is it possible? Why don't we give him enough time to see how he's going to turn around things? Comrade, I don't want to sound like PF. But let me say this. What is it that he found that was broken? Let's pick date, for instance. In 27 years of power, 27 years in office, President Dr. Kenneth Kaunda, may so rest in peace, left a debt of 7 billion US dollars. In 27 years, 7 billion. Let's jump to President Edgar Chagwalungu. In 7 years, and President Michael Sata combined together 10 years they left a bill of 14 billion. Okay? To be specific, 12.91 billion US dollars. In two years, and I want the Zambian people to go to the website for the Ministry of Finance, to go to the website for the International Monetary Fund, IMF, you will find that in two years, 24 months, this president, President Hakainde Samich Lev, and this government have contracted in Congole worth $6.2 billion in two years, 24 months. 
6.2 billion US dollars. Check your records with the Ministry of Finance. Go to the website and check. Check your records with the International Monetary Fund IMF. You'll find that this government has contracted a debt worth $6.2 billion in 24 months. But Eugene, we have to ask them, what have they done with the money? Because they are to go to Panga Road. They are going to school. They are going to industries. They are going to hospital. So, your $6.2 billion, what have they used it for? And if you can contract $6.2 billion in 24 months, imagine what will happen in three years, which is remaining with. The date by the time that President Haka Inde Samichle will be leaving office in 2026, the Congolia Mnema within five years will be exceeding 15 billion US dollars. 15 billion US dollars. Now, our socialist party want to be very practical and very generous. Where can government get the money to continue its responsibility of providing roads, schools, hospitals, medicines, teachers, teaching and learning implements? One is through taxation from the mines. So if this government cared about the welfare of the people, they should have made sure that the mining conglomerates are paying their fair share of taxes. If you combine tax evasion, tax avoidance, externalization of profits, nanny tax remittance, and any other illegal financial illicit flaws, the mining sector alone is losing 3 billion US dollars every year. Imagine what we would have done as a country if we are just able to put our house in order, pursue policies and measures and the taxation regime that makes us collect what is owed to us. The 3 billion US dollars annually would change the face of this country, would not go to the IMF to ask for a 1.3 billion US dollars that comes with stringent austerity measures, which has resulted into reduced government expenditure. We need to, creep, to cut down these things. What, does, what is the implication of government reducing expenditure on education? We are seeing what we are seeing today. Go to the schools. Muzapeza Maskuru Bayujin Mribe Choko. Go to the schools. My teachers in government schools are using their own money to buy reams of paper. I teach English. When you go to a government school today, if it's comprehension that you are teaching the children at that particular day, you have to go and make photocopies of that topic on your own, using your own money, and distribute. The quality of education has completely been killed under this government. Because one, our children are going to school on empty stomachs. They can't concentrate. Bana, because my parents that affects them one African class first of all secondly I the five kilometers class look at the rate of teenage pregnancies it has continued to rise these are the impact or effects of having a broken down education system Look at the number of children who are failing exams at grade 7, grade 9, and grade 12 under the new Dawn government. That number has increased. Those are the impacts or the effects of having a broken down education system. How much does this government give to secondary schools, the primary schools, as a grant on a monthly basis? Some schools which are lucky are getting up to 3,000 kwacha pay term as a grant from government. Those that are not lucky are getting as low as 1,700 kwacha. Let us just be honest with ourselves. If a school gets a 3,000 kwacha, they have to pay for water bills. They have to pay the water bills. They have to pay electricity bills. They have to pay for wokonza pa school. Bajamene mapianga, masweepers, makirinazi, magarden boy, security. They have to pay. More 3,000 kwacha. Can you manage to pay all those things? The answer is no. Right. Okay? Mm. Now, if you come to the issue of agriculture, I want to my fertilizer first of all, in January, when fertilizer should be with a farmer in September. 
and if it lies out in a siokwana, this is a president who told us he will be giving farmers 12 bags of fertilizer per farmer. Lero wapasa, two may da per farmer. Mutengwa fertilizer has doubled. How is a farmer going to produce for a profit? It is not possible. Where, where are we going wrong? And what are the solutions? For us as socialist part, we believe first of all that power to decide must be given to the Zambian people. The Zambian people themselves must control the agro-policies, and that's what Socialist Party is offering. Make Zambians own the agro-sector. The people who are given contracts to provide fertilizer, seed, chemicals, must first of all be Zambians. My contract, you have to be Zambians. Because when you pass my contracts to Zambians, it means in the Lama Zoo, the Zambo Karamu of Zambia. The Zambo Tengewa, my Nakuzaro, Vierovinam, as the case is. By allowing money to remain in Zambia, you are creating jobs for the Zambian market. We believe, a socialist party, that businesses, number one, must be given to the Zambian people. Let them own the businesses. It's a socialist party. We don't believe what UPND is doing. Mapo Yamalite, Kuleta Mapo Yamalite. But in 107 million US dollars worth of contracts, we don't pass Zimbabwe and South Africa. They are creating jobs in Zimbabwe and South Africa. Mapo ya malaiti shuwa. Banga kangiwe. Wanduwa mzambia kutenga mapo ya malaiti. Wa shita supply kwa zesko. They will do that. They manage to do that. But the government. Ya jama contract. Ipasa ma Zimbabwe anzi. Na ma South Africans. A socialist part will say no. That's not the way to go. Look at the banking system. How many banks do we have in Zambia. Which are Zambian owned. Mm. The banking financial system. We have less than 3% of the financial system. To be very precise, 2.2% of the financial system is in the hands of the Zambian people. Yes, I'm going to bank my foreigners. Zandarama is a very good thing. It's not a good thing. A socialist party will say, no, that's not the path to take. Allow Zambians to own these institutions, to control these institutions, and they are going to have a larger stake. We believe, a socialist party, that my mind is not a good thing. Ya jama minerals, ma sujilite, ma gold, ma diamond. Ya minia choka mu mamaini. Ya funi kashita benefit ma minas. Sima mvira nso ni basami waka enda kumfumbwe. Sima mvira nso ni basami waka enda kusirenje. Sima mvira nso ni basami waka enda kumufulida. Sima mvira nso ni basami waka enda kukasesele. That kuli ayo ma places kuzi kwa mene kuchoka gold, kwa mene kuchoka diamond, kwa mene kuchoka copper. Ma places ayo they are not developed. Sima mvira nso. But... Here is a contrast. For him, as long as Mazungu Diamo, for him it's okay. As long as Mazungu Watenga ma contracts, for him it's okay. But Zambian people, he has nothing to do with you. Uh, Eugene, even just a simple thing, the president, and this, I want to talk to him directly. Vasa, Muchinje. Vaka inda kwa Mazungu, vapasha wa Mazungu mwoni, wa manja. Vaka bwela kuni ma blacks, vavala ma gloves. Why? Why, Mr. President? Ngati mflo pasha ya zemoni, mvala ma glove. Why? Ni shi seti na doti o tizamdu wa disani. What's the problem? Let's open up the phone lines, Comrade, and get to hear from our listeners as well. 0977-624-270 is the number that you're using to get through to us. This edition of Live Issues is what you're listening to. My guest this morning is Socialist Party Deputy Secretary General, Mr. Antonio Mourinho Manza is uh, my guest. So let's uh, get uh, to engage this one here as our first caller. Good morning. Yes, uh, Mr. Eugene, good morning. Good morning. Who do we have on the line? I'm okay. Antonio Manza, okay. Morning, sir. Thanks, Ulipo. Now, I'm going to say, Ulipo. I'm going to say, Ulipo. I'm going to say, Ulipo. All right, please go ahead in the next two minutes to wrap up your submission. In the first place, I want to remind uh, Antonio Mwanza, the day when he was residing from Batwood in France, he said I had to put my life on the chopping board to defend the life in Batwood in France. And today again he has come now to pro propagate the life. Are you not aware, Antonio Mwanza, you yourself, that so far government in some districts, they have distributed Let me just ask you a question. Let me just ask you a question with that one. Hello? 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 Hello?
Hello. Hello. Let's be let's be together. Hello. No, you know, I wanted um, to ask him. When you're on radio, um, you're talking, at least when I'm trying to engage you, have a listen as well. That way it will make sense in our conversation. Because uh, even as you're making a point, uh, there are times when uh, maybe my guest here wants to respond to you direct. Uh, I think it's So better. that we can engage each other. Yeah, so I just better. wanted to ask him a very simple question. Mm. When were the contracts for fertilizer given? All right. Let him answer. And who gave those contracts? Hello, good morning. Good, good morning, uh, Welkin. Good morning, thank you, sir. Your name? Uh, comrade Mwaza, good morning. Morning, morning, comrade. Yeah, this is comrade Mwaza. Yes, comrade. Please go ahead. Yeah, um, really, um, I'm very worried. I thought when you told the Zambian people and the, the world at large to say you were defending rights and the things that are not defendable. Uh, in the PF. I thought you stopped uh, and you repented. I never but said. my surprise is that even today you continued on the same trajectory. You are talking about the uh, tax evasion. When you read the Fed member, his post in his paper was uh, closed because of uh, the same tax evasion. He was not saying that. If anything, is the one, is one of the people that contributed to the poverty that people are going through in this country. Because he was not paying for uh, taxes. And he had a very big company in your paper. So now, really, I wonder how Antonio Maza you have turned yourself to be a futurist. You talk about being a capitalist. You are the people that you misread and you continue on the path of destruction, destroying this country under PF. Uh, and you, because you found an umbrella of all those materials uh, in the socialist party, you, you think you, have, you can unwink people or change the mind of the people. I think you need to be serious, comrade. We are not interested. Zanemian people, they have freedom now. Um, they are able to criticize the government and to tell the government what they want. You saw what happened in Mandebo. People are taking to Pamela, telling the president, the, the, the party that you defended the, uh, to the, to, 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 that one would do the problem because my cat has been doing a number of things that are different. I think you need to just change because the Zambian people are not interested in it. I need to engage him. What they want is to deliver the government. Comrade, comrade, don't push up. I think this is what I want. No, 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 comrade, comrade, don't go. Uh, don't, don't go, comrade. Are you still there, comrade, don't push up. Yes, I'm yeah. yeah. What are your full names, don't push up? Osam Kosa. Osam Kosa. Oscar. 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 So you are saying yeah. President Dimembe was involved in tax evasion. Okay, we will follow you up after this program for you to go and explain the tax evasion allegations you, against Dr. You President Dimembe. We will follow you up. Case, which was, uh, no, don't worry. Which don't worry. Don't worry. We will follow you up. All right, comment. You will so prove much. in the competent court of law. <laughs> 097 is the number that you're using to get through to us on uh, live issues. There's the edition is what you're listening to. As you come through on the line, please uh, go straight to your point and, uh, uh, you know, just be as quick as you can uh, so that we can allow others to be a part of our discussion. Let's get to this voice note here. Thank you very much. I'm happy to hear your voice. This is Francis. I'm calling from Kablonga. Eugene, uh, I thought maybe this voice is dead. And now you are coming out. The way you are coming out, you are not even attacking your former party, PF. We are very happy for that. And then you have to work together as opposition. And then issues And then Eh, nipera ba UPND, eh, one of uh, my leaders, wako mini wako mbati, ati kublocking uh, motor kedi, ni mzimai umoza na kublocking wako nyama kuja. Wako mbati ni climb, mozambi ya mungu. Lelo ya nkala kwanji climb, minu wako bate nga ma 6.5 billion, mtu umoza. Ati ndawa wanawa yika maseos, wanawa uza ati ni, 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 ni climb. Nifuna mkambepu kwa mimine hapo, timbesese mwusha kuti wai lelo ya nkala climb, Hello, welcome back to another manga. And in love, and then today, welcome back to the crime to block the motorcade. I just want to talk about that, Ivan Antonio Manza. Nevambi, we need to come, but the time is not with. All right, thank you so much, Francis. We appreciate your submission. Let's get to another call here. Good morning. Hello. 
Hello. Yes, good morning, sir. Uh, good morning. How are you, Mr. Moderator? Doing well, thank you, sir. Who do we have on the line? Thank you have Mr. Makondo. Mr. Makondo, come uh, to over here. Mr. Makondo. Talk to us, sir. Yes, how are you, Anthony? I am fine, Makondo. <laughs> yeah, I am okay. Uh, first thing is best. If it's in court, I would call you and be liable with me. When did you realize to say, Mfungwe, Kasiteri, the best in the two years, when you have now joined the, 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 the Socialist Party, because don't speak as if it's you, you are someone who was never in the ruling party. You are personally in jail because it's only two years that you left that way. Those things that you are telling us now, you want to be like a champion of everything. You say to them, you have to be FDG, and then you have that opportunity to be the ruling government. Mr. Makondo, your line is breaking. Hello? Hello, Mr. Makondo? Hello? I'm saying your line is breaking. Are you able to move about so that you secure a better slot? Okay, move about. I don't know what that was. Yeah, you say something. Let's, let's listen. Better, better. Uh, still, still, it's actually, it's, it's, it's cutting, eh? It's not... Hello? <laughs> okay, uh, Makondo, you have to call us back. Uh, I, network issues or something. Um, we're unable to just get your full submission like that, and it defeats the purpose of you calling the radio station if we can't hear you clearly. 0977624270 is uh, the number that you're using to interact with us on uh, live issues. There's the edition. Good morning. Hello? Yes, good morning. Morning. How are you, Mr. Moderator? Great. I'm great. Thank you, Philemon. How are you? I'm very fine. We are in Stuka, Zambia. Talk to us. Hey, thank you. Uh, good morning, Antonio Mwanza. Mwanza. Good morning, Ba Fili Morning. And allow me at this juncture to completely disagree with you when you uh, see propaganda for food. Who told you that these lines are evading tax? It's a lot of. Uh, uh, tax regime that has been given to those, but they are not evading tax. You are you want to start scaring people to say no one at Tengazi, name whatever, to prove in court whatever, and you, and you also want you to prove how the minds are evading tax. Because they are paying all, you know, taxes, you get them there, and like you will explain as well. Coming to CBF, CBF is a game changer in this country. Go and come in the rural areas. Come in the rural areas. About 1,700 Nazita roads have been upgraded to waterable standards so that uh, agriculture inputs can be saved. So that we to a review, our school, our area will open my school, my crossing points. They are all over. Philemon. 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 Yes, boss. Please ask questions and don't tell us about uh, other things that others can communicate to us. Sorry? Ask a question or contribution. Or oh, a question? Yes. Do you have a question? Okay. Okay. Thank you. Uh, so in the question, <laughs> this is to ask a question. The question is, are we, are we going to be comfortable to put a leader who is going to be blinding him and a gun for peace and leading to the crowd? What of uh, you know, there is a need of stray bullying. Listen to a policeman, if you, someone was killed, there was a stray bullying. Now, what of a, what of Mr. Nende, the Jewish has no direction, there was a stray bullying. Now, are uh, we going to be very comfortable to put a leader who is going to be allowing people blending in gang, freely in my crowd? And I need some serious bullying and need some clarification. Yeah. Otherwise, uh, uh, Mr. Antonio Manza, I'm asking the whole country that we should not take you seriously. Thank you so much, Philemon. Um, so here's the thing, right? When you get through on the line, 
uh, we've had discussions here. So in case you want to engage my guest on any of those, you can go straight to them, yeah, uh, as opposed to telling us um, other things that, um, you know, I, I, we know who to bring when we want to talk about CDF, so don't, 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 don't even go there, maybe. Uh, you'll be spending a whole lot of time on the radio. Hello, Hello good morning. Hello, good morning. Hello. Yes, good morning. Good morning. Good morning to you on the dais. Loud and clear, please go ahead and. Uh, yeah, uh, I think Eugene Choyambira, like for me, Antonio Mwanza, somewhere, somehow, could be saying I stand, I stand, because I'm someone actually who suffered during the PF government. government here, Are you aware that Antonio Mwanza, in Akufunsani? During that time, we just many ana. We didn't go to what we want. We many ana we are going to be statement out here. Our government we many ana we are going to be in. Then we need trust in the government. Number one, we are going to period here in Kerala. Because we have to time with time. Antonio Mwanza. Time with time we are going to be in. Still not in But the politics here, co. Since the encouragement is like he, who is the result of the Zidia who is going to die. Not to Tandizira, Namboy Sepal, Suti Tandizira. It's too early. Zopaza Chapa example Banarumo, Yanga Pasel Antonio Mwanza. A Melevanga Nian, she was most Banarumo in Nime, Kuriva Mai, Kuriva Mai Shaipa and the Kuriva Tat, Apa and the Kuriva Uncle Manj. Why the Kalumu never see a very short period, two years, or whatever for Amdala. Why is Ungava Tandizira? But no, I'm not sounding like you. I don't want to sound like a PF. You are still a PF. Nizina chile na chinja kuenda huko. So azai kongruti bwana rungu. We don't want to manisai kwa politician like Antonio Mwanza. Uh, Tina kutesteni kutala. I know you the way. Wikinesi ya mene uri nao. Kutilika wa mene uri nao. Ama waya that. So kulita chile wanga tiuze ya zee. Ife mariusi. Mwanga pele milipa. Weta bintu bivute. Chikuru chile kusita advise wa president. Ma problem zee chikitamu. But meo kwe na kwa criticizing ya so mtu wanga kulipa kwa kuiku pereka. Weta waka mbe no. Masa zitamba wa president. Yofu na wazitamba wa ndaya. Wazitamba wana wako. Because the NBC areas have been captured by president. Where they are captured by the Karu. Who are you to tell the Zambia people to say that they must have captured even our HHO and Baradio? Politics are not zero, my friend. You are a psycho politician, my brother. Thank you. Thank you so much. Uh, there's, <laughs> no to, there's, there's no need to get personal here. <laughs> what is his name? Uh, so his name is Angu Darius. Zero nine double seven six two four two seven zero is uh, the number to use to get through to us. Let me accommodate a couple of uh, few WhatsApp voice notes as well. Then uh, we can uh, allow you to, you know, uh, give a comment on any of those. Good morning. This is Super Central, the voice of Chipangari, talking to you direct from Lusaka, Zambia. Uh, Antonio Manza, all this, whatever you are saying, are you imagining me or maybe you are dreaming? You talked of the IMF. Uh, no, the conditions of the IMF are like this and this and this. This is the reason why you see the UPND are doing this. This is the reason why the price of the commodities are high because of the uh, IMF conditions. Are you serious and you believe it that that is true? This is the reason why the high cost of living is because of the IMF. Because no more. No more, no more. These all allegations you are talking, Mr. Antonio Mas, are they true? Or maybe you are just dreaming or you are imagining that this could be happening because of this and this. This would were happening because of this. Or maybe you are talking it through your experience, from what you experienced under the PF when you borrowed money from uh, these uh, borrowers. Huh? Antonio Mwanza, already up, you're implicating someone into your program because of Akamba Udino of a member, why following him up and down? Why? Musie, ni Nicola Chewa Minatu Moyo, Vamia Gamba Sanatukane, Imo Mwendem Gangari Pansi Mkafunse Maridawa and Mamiboto, Mwenzekona Gongore, Amnezo Gretan Letani Mapiefu, because you were there, you saw it. Pamene Chimba Kamburezo, Kamba Madini Bariba Freddy Membe. Pankani ama tax, tizi wati ya naenda kwa anja aja mankani za hozit. Now you want to follow the what they call. Here I be so bad. Tell what people are, I expect you to, to tell them. And then mwakamba watipa presidenti, wakangalapa chilimba, wakangazizimi ya TV. What the main point, what are you trying to create, Mr. Antonio Mwanza? 
why you telling people to stop the red to the TV station when the president is in my interest here in your politics interest here want to but many small politics yeah so we should stop doing that we're citing violence thank you mwaka bwanji mwaka bwanji ndine mure kutumira kuno kutoka kuchibombo mwanza singi mwe mtu wa minute funa muno muzambia mkani ama politics ya so mkani wa mtu ochinja you are our brother you are a brother to every uh, zambian but the way you attack the president mkazimvira kwa nso ni vintu fina kwa eh? fertilizer mpifu tenzo landi la fertilizer mmach february but hapa uh, muka mba kuti no ntawe ya chedwa ya siyana buwanji eh? difference fertilizer tista lendira next month within this month tia mba kusta ma deposit ya hapa kuhunu kuchibu mbo kaya kuina ngu sinisima so uh, mnaza karani mtu wachi nja please mga mwenda pa radio mutendere usaziku korani Usa kukoreni mutendere kazi mkara na mutendere free bwino bwino mwamene wankari la vantu wonse chifukwa chamene mkara wako kamba kamba wako saba ila so kuchita accuse wa president kuchita attacki wa president chifukwa chamutendere wamene ukorani karani wantu wa chinji siko we'll put a hold to those uh, submissions and I'll let you respond thank you uh, first of all let me say thank you to all those that have called and uh, those that have taken time to make voice notes let me start with the last uh, 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 voice nod. Um, when he says mutendere uh, wakukola, you know what he tries to mean is that uh, we should be attacked and we should be intimidated and uh, this has been the line even from their president, uh, president of UPND and the president of the Republic of Zambia, Mr. Hakainde Sami um, where he says that it is Amba Mingalato I want to tell you, my brother, that uh, this country was liberated 60 years ago. There is no one, whether President Hakainde Samichilema or any other president, that will hold us captive or threaten, intimidate, and cow us down. No. We are a democracy. And we have a right to debate, we have a right to contradict, we have a right to oppose, and we will not stop. So there is no amount of intimidation or violence or even killing that can stop us from talking on behalf of the Zambian people. As long as the poverty levels keep on rising, as long as the cost of living keeps on rising, as long as the youth unemployment keeps on rising, as long as the losses in terms of the billions of dollars we are losing from the mining sector keeps on going up, we will not stop talking. And we will not be intimidated because we cannot be intimidated. Zambia is a free country, it's a democracy, and we will not be scared of anybody. Whether you're a president or whether you're a cadre, whether you're a thug, you cannot intimidate us. I, I want to repeat. There is no point in any Zambian to waste his time listening to lies. When the president comes to the people of Zambia, he must tell them the truth of what his government is doing, the measures he's putting in place to respond to the high cost of living, and he has to tell the Zambians what his policies are on agriculture, on education, on health, on mining, on infrastructure, and on all other sectors of the economy. People are dying in my hospital because Mlibe Mangwala, and you expect me to sit here and encourage people to be watching President Againde Samichilema for what? When to Kulibe fertilizer, you expect, us, you expect us to be cheering him on radio and TV for what? Youths have no jobs, and you expect us as opposition political leaders to be cheering him up for what? So yes, I want to repeat. It is pointless, it is a waste of time to be listening to a leader who is not telling the people of Zambia the truth. He told you, Unga Mzambo Gula 50 Kwacha, Unga Lizingati. He told you, Fertilizer Zangala 250 Kwacha, Fertilizer Lizingati. He told you, 
Shuwe yore zangala 12 kwa cha pelita. Shuwe yore lizingati. He told you mchipata na mzambu ngala mankwala. Mankwala na mulibe mchipata. He told you transport. Mtenguwa transport. Uzaka inda pazi. Mtenguwa transport ulipati. Those are lies that Zambians should not waste their time on. I want to talk about uh, this uh, super central. The super central. Mukazive renga. Go to the website of IMF. Go to the website of Ministry of Finance. Go and read a report that has been done by Action Aid Zambia on the implication of the IMF on the standard of living of the Zambian people. If you were away, Yadula, Vaduli Sanwandan, the IMF instructed your government to remove subsidies of fuel as a condition. The IMF instructed your government to bring back VAT as a condition. The IMF instructed your government to bring back excess duty as a condition. And that's the reason why the price of fuel has gone up. Those are facts. IMF has said we have to phase out farmer input support program. My farmer is much more than me. Because this is a kilo of 1,300. What's the implication of high cost of fuel? It's a high cost of transport. Small one at one afaki na mitengo zama bus. Who has caused all those things? Are they not the conditions of the IMF? Where were you in 1999, 1996? When we started pursuing the structural adjustment programs, yaba P, yaba 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 IMF, and we ended up losing 275 public companies that were privatized and people lost jobs, they were retrenched, they ended up in the streets and that was the first time that we started seeing street kids. So mkazibirenga, mwabirenga, this information is free, you can just get your phone, that mnaya time, mwagugoringa, it will show you. Philemon, I want you to read this report. Vutu yama prezi singa, Ni akuti wanu, uli nanjala papamina uliri. Sunadi ya nakuti ya papamina uliri. But uli nu, uchita defendi vitu varo. You are defending things, but papamina uliri hapo. Nanjala, inu unka nunuka papamina uliri. But uli defenda vitu varo. Iwe firimoni, go and read the Organization for Economic Cooperation and Development Estimates report. And you see the economic sabotage in terms of tax evasion. Tax avoidance. These are reports that are public reports of how much money we are losing as a country. You are talking about CDF. You think we don't live in constituencies. You think we don't live in villages. You think we don't have relatives whom we go to and meet and we, we have villages. People like me, we are always on the, on the move. I've been to all the 156 constituencies. We know what is going on. CDF is a failed, is a failed project. Do you even know, you were feeling money, that CDF in a Malamuru is even? Or if you can be a much because we are not going to be CDF. Tell me, Consuelo, what is going on? You think CDF was meant to be making roads? CDF was meant to be making roads. Do you even know the purpose of CDF? Do you know how much money has been pushed in the national budget for roads? You're just talking about things that you don't know. You are saying Comrade Freddy Membe was brandishing guns. You wanted to kill him. You wanted to kill him. Mwamene muna paila kungo, mupaina Freddy Membe. That's what you want. Dr. Freddy Membe, like you, like me, like any Zambian, has the right to defend themselves. So mungfuna mkazi konka wandu, mkazi paya wandu. And people should not protect themselves. But Francis asked a very good question. Why is it that my UPND Makadas, they are being compensated hefty compensations from the courts of law? But Eugene, we should be asking questions. You can be compensated if you've been acquitted for wrong prosecution, wrong Detention or wrong accusation. Acquitted by the competent court of justice. Not knowledge. 
a nolle prosecutor is not an acquittal. A nolle is not a dismissal of the case. Why do we have millions of Zambian taxpayers' money being given to European decaders as compensation? For what? When these cases are on nolle? Uyu Mukosa, Kapani Mukosa, Kapani Mukosa. He said Dr. Freddie Membe was involved in tax evasion. He has to prove. But let me just use this opportunity. Dr. Freddie Membe has never been tried and convicted of tax evasion for anything, not even when he was at the Post newspapers. Vajini Lelo, if Vajava Membe, Vizina Milano is a tax evasion. Sebaba Guida Kayava Perega Kukoti. Parabametika Ambaso Sebaba Nimjeri. So let us stop spreading lies. I know about Eugene. I know the party in Yama UPND. A socialist party, we were on 5 FM on Thursday. The Burakuno. So, Mamashita Gang. The gang up with Darius in front of many Zotandis or Darius. This is a chap I've helped. Nanjinga face in Dinan Pass. After this program, I'm to be left for the Zinga to because to Kwanaid. So they gang up, then they say, okay, this will be the defense mechanism. Tizambo must attack, attack, attack. You're not attacking me. The battle is not between me and you or Socialist Party and you. No. The battle is between the Zambian people who are hungry, the Zambian people who are suffering, and your president. Because even you as the praise singers, Mufutika, I'm a Futu Altipita Moise, I'm a Futu Yari Murinachani, my praise singer. She told Vanami Tarani, Simusebeza. Business, Vanami Tarani, will be my contracts. So even if you come to a radio station and start defending what is wrong, what is your benefit? So it doesn't matter the mechanism you can put, oh, the socialist party, Bazangala pa radio, TNT and the OSA, TNT and the You are talking about people. I've never been in government. I've never. You've never ever seen me getting a government job. I've never had a government job. I've never been in government. I've never run this country. And the issues we are raising here are very clear. Your government has destroyed agriculture. Defend using the policy measures and, 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 the, and, the, and the directions and activities your government is making to reduce the cost of production and the cost of inputs. Tell us. All right, allow me to squeeze in uh, some few calls. So uh, it's not about insulting me, attacking me. It right. can't help you. Okay, let's get to the calls here. Good morning. Uh, yes, good morning. Good morning, good morning. How are you? I'm well. How are you doing today? Good today. I'm very fine, very fine. Awesome. Yes. Yeah. I told you, Mauka. Tauka, my brother, Namanda, Mauka, boy. No, Tauka, my brother. Ziko. No, I told you, Tauka, is a good Which boza? Boza, I know. Which one? My radio stations, you know. Which one? Okay. Oh, my God, I'm going to get a good one. Who is that? You know, one thing you have to do, my brother, is that he doesn't feed on lies. And I don't entertain lies. In 2021, I told you as PF, you are speaking standard. All these lies you are telling on the station, that can never die to these lies. And they will teach a lesson. They taught a lesson. But they teach a lesson.
finish up with maybe three voice notes on the other side of that we can see the end of uh, today's edition of our uh, live issues 0977 624270 is the number that you're using to interact with us on uh, live issues feel free to engage and let's hear what your submission is good morning hello good morning good morning sir how are you well well thank you how are you doing yourself i'm okay general antonio manza good morning 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 how are you Please go ahead and make a submission quickly. Uh, thank you very much. Eh, come on, Tony, Rogamba Wuti, Magadi, the Valley of Salari, you know, the Aquanisa Wulipira, Manumba. Eh, Pusayanga, we want Tony, we have with Ivan Tony Omanda. But the women go for a thirty thousand departure. Where? I think he was Seven six two four two seven zero is the number that you're using to get through to us. Let me finish up with two voice notes as well, then uh, we can see an end on today's edition of Live Issues. Well, Eugene Shan, you cook studio, uh, Mwanza Mulibuanj. Now, Fortune Sabin Bitsenga, Mulusaka. Well, Mwanza, well, Mwanza, Imota Mwai Shofu Mfuya Mutano. You're just a political non cutting. No matter. The Roma Yoku, my Mugafio Cocharia, Ococha, Ococha Pida, eh, Museleda Quacava, Usha Emila Pama Grounds. So, never from Reland, the Pofia Buffy. So, Imotin Momola, you are a youth, but Tamushi of my Ufum Fuyo Kusta. Ah, 
Fue mule wa mazambia nzivishinta. UPND is working. Unlike party in New York. Now, in quarter question, there is this video which is circulating. Either and the quarter master, master, Marasuminisha, socialist party, what more, you know, more, me go party. Bakabi, Manam, for Bakabi, Boba, and the Papa, my parody, Panan, social media, Miranda Pasha, Napati, and you know, Suminisha, or Mabari, or Panabeka, like a Fishani. Good morning, Antonio Manda, and the moderator there. My name is Maparo Kaoma. Antonio Mwanza, you are right. You are speaking the truth. Whether you used to be a PF, you are speaking the truth. PF has done a lot of things. They have built roads. The economy was stable. And we cannot compare PF or Ed Karungu with HH. We cannot compare European government with PF. Look at Meu Meu is a 300 kwacha. Look at the economy first and compare the previous economy when the PF was in power. So those people who are disagree, who are fighting you on the radio, Antonio Mwanda, those people they are fighting you out of hatred because they hated PF, not, not based on a factual. They don't have factual. They are just praising us, Pricing you plenty, Nchala Musiko and Tuafuti Kaunga the 300. People are suffering and the UPN is doing nothing. Look at the economy is poor. But President Waindama trips can 55 trips in Mukambayo. Nothing is happening. And somebody from Chituriko or Chiturika Uko will support or take over Firiwe. Now, about Firiwa, Antonio Mwanza, keep up supporting one member. God bless you, Antonio Mwanza. All right, uh, comrades, we have about two minutes before we wrap Two up. minutes. They, yes. You let's, allowed let's people conclude. to say a lot of things, which <laughs> two conclude. minutes will not be easy. To let's conclude. Let's but conclude. But let me just be quick. Uh, first of all, we are grateful as a, a party that you've given us a chance to be here. And thanks a lot to everybody who has called and all those that have sent voice notes. Um, I want to start with Wamapalo. Um, I totally agree with you, and thanks for that support. But Eugene, we have been in politics long enough, uh, but, and uh, I was in UPND for seven years. Uh, many of the people in UPND, I know them, they're my colleagues, and so on and so forth. I am never machita, so ba tenga makolans, wafaka pamoz wa panga kalaina up. This is a strategy that doesn't work. You get callers, mu apasa tuma five kwacha five kwacha. Bagula tuma talk time, no ba socialist ba zangala pa radio, go and attack them. Those strategies mdala, they don't work. It's a waste of time. So, uh, Honorable Secretary General Oi Menda, shinjeniko strategy, his strategy taiwomba. Yamu Sanje, Brother Namanda, the same guys who put them, so ba ripamozi, Brother Namanda zampeza pa ripa East Park mo, pa wana mazunguruka. There's nothing that he's doing. Azunguruka pa East Park mo. Ibangala so ba rika group. Batuma mafoni. So bapasa na mafoni wakasiriza iwe tu manayewe, iwe tu manayewe, iwe tu manayewe wauza na vochita. Those things don't work. The people outside there, the millions of the Zambians, are feeling hungry. Those are the issues. I end up with president. You see that shit on 2026. These things of matenga makula, so bapasa mafaifu kwacha tumani, those things don't work. The president has to deal with the fundamental issues affecting the people. Hunger, unemployment, poverty, high cost of living. Those are issues the president should be dealing with. Not this to my games. It will not help you. Brother Namanda and your team, let me just very quickly say this. I've spent 23 years of my life in politics and public life. I've spent 20 years of those 23 years in opposition. 20 years of my 23 years I've spent it in opposition. If I wanted to eat, I would have been working with ruling parties. I would have joined the MMD. I would have joined the PF. When they were in power, I would have, I would have, I would have joined the UPND. I have spent 20, 20 years of my 23 years in politics fighting for the common Zambian. Group opposition. So, your story, I'm saying that I can't rise. It is in Kanyam Kachasu. Because if I wanted to, I'm going to be able to do it. I'm going to be able to do it. I'm going to be able to do it. 
they have failed to provide the, the solutions to the challenges the Zambian people are facing. So this is not about me, as Antonio was, no, forget. It's about government failing to provide the solutions to the economic and social challenges the people are facing. And I would like to conclude in this fashion. Here are the lies that Brother Namanda talks about. That number one, according to Brother Namanda and his colleagues, unga no chipa. Mwa hospital muli mangwala, according to them. Transport no chipa, according to them. Life in Mush. I feel sorry by Eugene that if I look at Musanje, Uyu Savimbi, Uyu Brother Namanda, you go and see where they are living. Musanje la chifundu. But here they are. They are here. Calling because I pass my five kwacha kutuma my phone. It's a shame. I want to conclude by saying this. The Socialist Party is offering a solution to the social and economic challenges the Zambian people are facing. The Socialist Party is aware that we are where we are because we are not in charge of our economy. We are where we are as a country because we are not in charge of our human and capital as well as natural resources. And the Socialist Party says, vote for yourselves. Let us build the Zambia where the economy is in the hands and control of the Zambian people. Let the Zambians control the banking and finance sector. Let the Zambians control the agricultural sector. Let the Zambians control the educational sector. Let the Zambians control the mining sector, the production sector. That's what Socialist Party is offering. A complete paradigm shift from an economy which is controlled by Westerners, foreigners, to a Zambian economy controlled by the Zambian people themselves. That's the alternative which we want. We want businesses to be run and owned and controlled by the Zambians. We want Zambians to be the ones supplying and contracting government loans, government contracts, my contracts that are with my Zambians, not my foreigners. Manchito has ended with my Zambians, not my foreigners. My business has ended with my Zambians, not my foreigners. That is what Socialist Party stands for. We look at everybody as a stakeholder. But you as a Zambian, you can't go to America and control the American economy. They will not allow you. You can't go to China and control the Chinese economy. They can't allow you. So vice versa, they shouldn't be here and control our economy. We have surrendered our economy to the IMF. We have a president and a political party that has got no economic plan. They have got no social and political plan. We have a government that has failed to provide solutions. So it doesn't matter your to my strategy, to my panga, my personal five kwacha, my gulat, my talk time, those things can't work. Those things, others have tried them, they don't work. We were in power, we tried those things, they don't work. Mundala njala, ilipa ground yapa, muye indai.